the title of this writing is Past Future. It seems there's a psychology that goes along with either past or future. The past folks want things the way they were. The future folks want things the way they should be. There's also a sensation that goes along with each viewpoint, especially when it runs into an opposing view. For the future seekers, it's frustration. For those longing for the past, it's a sense of sadness and madness. The futurites are frustrated when they can't convince others to create a plan that is crystal clear to them. The pasties are mad that their world is changing and severely dig in their heels. When you get a past and future together, you can expect an ideological scrimmage. It plays out every day. Old versus young, conservative versus liberal, texter versus emailer. The list goes on and on and it's ever growing. The results of the daily clash between the two leads to an argument as to who is right rather than a common strategy to right any wrongs. The focus is on the fight and who's right rather than results. It would be like two football teams hurling insults at each other from their respective sidelines for 60 minutes rather than playing the game. Here's something we rarely reflect on. There is no past or future in now. What can I do now? is a question to ask that brings us back from the frustration or sadness of future or past. Now gets you focused. Imagine you're driving through a major snowstorm. Then imagine one of these two monologues in your head. It didn't used to snow this much. The road crews were out much quicker, and damn it, people drove more carefully in the snow back then. Or, they really should come up with a way to put warming rods under the asphalt to melt this before it becomes problematic. Why don't they invent solar-powered snow-blowing panels along the side of the highway? How come no one's doing these things? Now, you just know these two people are going to crash into each other. Why? Because neither one of them is paying attention to the snow now. Focusing on now and the situation at hand suspends diversionary trips to the past or future, and it doesn't add the baggage of sadness or frustration. There's going to be plenty of time to yearn for the good old days or lament that the future isn't getting here quick enough, but that time is not now. Now is the time to focus on what's right in front of you. It's the quickest route out of the past and into the future. Here's your question. What can I do now? All the best, John.